Can you see the screen? No. No budget. I vote now. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay. Screen details. Fine. So we'll let's create a folder for today's uh, current project. It's um, past and right. Let's see with project one. Okay. So none of you have created a to be processor as is process. Everyone can join in into this particular uh, file because everyone have the access. Can everyone join in? Let's get to see. Are you guys connecting or not? Zaman, can you please unmute? Mohammed Zaman. Yeah, hi, Vijay. Uh, can you please log in with your registered email ID? I'm removing you from the meeting. Guests are not allowed. Sir. Uh, actually, actually Vajran, uh, I have to do this because, because like, like from my registered email ID, I've connected from my laptop, but I don't have my audio in my laptop working. What you don't so that is, uh, I am not able to connect to my audio from my laptop. So it's Zaman Rocks it is there, but I'm not able to connect to my audio and I'm also not having the SAT option there. So that, that is, is why, why I connected from my mobile to like put my, my audio, audio in here. Even from here, you will not have the chat option. Anyway, just check it out. But, but my, my audio, audio will be here. here. Yeah, okay. it will be there. Just check it out. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, team, I'm only seeing only two members over here. Come on, make it fast. Hello, what's your Yeah. Where is the file? How we can join? Where is the file? Just a second. How, how we can join? The files. In the files, there is a project. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Do you want to have the link? I'll share the link. So the link is shared in the chat. Just go ahead and check it out. If you log in, you will get access to edit. Someone already started trying. Okay. 
so let's do some basic flow charts first and understand the flow then we'll continue process step So what is the first thing that we need to do? What is the first what activity we that we need to do? Even though we have done it. Go ahead and you can type in the conversation over here. You can just communicate, just chat over here. Make sure you utilize everything. See, the training is not only about UI path, but to make sure you know all the tools that we use and how we communicate and how we work. So what is the first activity that we do? Vajan, can you zoom in? Yeah. Can you see it now? A little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are not seeing that uh, options in the left navigation. No, it's just start and I'm just asking you what is the first step for the process? You have to launch the URL, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Open the browser and launch the URL. Okay. So let's go ahead. Launch browser URL with what? Attach, attach browser. browser. We need to we attach, attach the browser. browser. No, that's wrong. Even even before to attach the browser, we need to log in. We should close all the Okay, now uh, this seems to be a good idea. Close all uh, required applications as a first step. Okay. So first step we need to do is close all required applications then what is the next step yeah after closing the url open the browser Open browser with URL. Mm. Is this good? Fast URL. Okay. Yes. Then uh, click on products activity. Click on. Can we say navigate to all products? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then. Sorry? Yeah, capture the product through that scrap. Data, scrap the data products data. Scrap all product data. Products data along with their URLs. URLs. Yes. 
URLs. Okay, then. Uh, write your CSV file right. along with the puppets. Write CSV. Go for the uh, read range in the CSV. So, if you are already having that in a table, why do you need to read it again? Yes, yes, yes. That is correct. That is correct. I'll let. And it on queue. Sorry. And it on queue. You then we can open, open the, the browser, browser along with that uh, URLs category URLs will be there. Right? We can use the open browser. So you mean to say for each uh, product we need to yes check open it. the browser and uh, scrap the particular data. So can I just search for next product exist? So next product in the sense even the first product will come as an next product. Okay, so if it is existing, then what? We have two loops here. If it is existing, then uh, Vajran, can you explain this next product exist condition you have taken for? See, simple. Uh, when you are opening that class yeah. mail. Scrap the support box. Okay. Yeah, you have scrapped the products along with the URLs. Yes. So this abrasive is the first product, right? Yeah. Yes. Now this last one is welding. Mm. So every product is taken as the next product. Like at zero. It's okay, so each transaction will be one product. Exactly. Abrasive is the next index. So if the next exists in the sense abrasive index exists, then select that exists. So you need to navigate to abrasives. So instead of uh, saying with the product name, I'm just telling that as next product. Okay. Yes. And uh, grab the that uh, subproduct data yeah. with URL. So yes. So I think that this is yes and this is no. Okay. Now here, navigate to product. Product. Okay, and if there is no product, then close the browser. Navigate to next one. <coughs> there is no close the browser. browser. Like all the products are completed, then what do you need to do after welding? Uh, yeah, close the browser, right? Okay. Close browser. And after closing the browser, close, close stop. Process channel. Okay. Now here, navigate to product. After navigating to product, what we need to do? Yeah. yeah. Grab yeah. those products again. A sub products. So, are we saying that we need to scrape all the products again? Mm. Yes. Capture the sub products and it link. Okay. So, after scraping, so next sub product exists. Can we just take in the yes. loop over here? Mm. Instead of product, now we are checking with next sub product. Okay, if it exists, then what we need to do? Okay, next understand and this exists. Then again, let's go only with three levels, not more than that. There are four levels. Okay, so if some or uh, not everything will have four levels, right? Maybe if you see aggressive. Let's go with the uh, buildings. 
because all the four items one two three okay now everything is having four levels right yeah, yeah. okay so if you are working on it then like we need to extract let's stop it till here sub product exists okay. let's exist let's take the root or uh, take the level to here and if it is existing then okay all details with urls yeah with urls and write in sheet okay if it is not existing like next product is not existing then what we what we need to do check for next product exists or not we can go back to here right yeah if there is no sub product then i can go back to next product exists okay this loop after completing all the items also i can go back to next loop <coughs> Are you getting the point over here? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So all we are trying to do, we are trying to make sure that we are looping in with all the items. Now it will be more easier if I can just map it over here and keep it. And keep it on the top. so this is coming over here and even this one will go to top even this will work okay now can you see this is no and this is yes okay so in visual representation what we do every no goes as red Every yes goes as green. Okay, you can just map it in such a way so that you will be able to understand. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, with respect to code, now is this everything that we have? But if you understand, this is not just dispatch process. This is the complete process. Is it right? <laughs> Yes. Okay. So now let's do something. Let's duplicate this one. So this is a complete process. Really. Now what we will do? We will use the complete process and we'll divide the process into dispatcher and performer. Now for a dispatcher to work in, what it require? Is it enough if we just navigate to all the products and if we can scrape all the information? We have to push it on the queue also. Yes. So instead of writing the products to CSV, what we will do is we will write to queue. Okay. And then okay. we will stop the process. Okay. Okay. Then let's go ahead and see the performer. I'm just going to delete. So we don't require all this stuff, right? After we add the items to queue, like after we create the tickets do we need all these items no. so can we just write it to queue close the browser and complete this one this is enough yes this is the dispatcher now so what is dispatcher doing now here collecting the products and uh, pushing it on queue other than that, is it doing anything else? 
opening the browser, closing all the applications, other yes, applications. But in the process it's level, a, is it doing right. anything else? On a process level. Nothing, right? It is writing, writing, writing the date. Writing it took you. But yeah. after yeah. writing it took you, it does nothing. Nothing, yeah. Okay, now, are you able to understand what are we dividing? Anything? See, if if you see this complete process, one, two, three, four, five. These five steps are static. This will not repeat at any point of time. Is it right? Once you extract yes. the balance, these process yeah. will not repeat. So yes. whatever is not repeating, this runs only once now. Okay. If it runs only once, then no need to write it in a complete process. So do we have to write uh, this dispatcher in RE framework or if I create a simple sequence for dispatcher, is it enough? Okay. See, RE framework is just a way of representation of pre-executed code or you can also say that RE framework already has something, you will reuse it. If you are capable right. of doing that, you can do it. But even without RE framework, we can still write the code, right? But yes. why do we follow RE framework and all? We'll see in the next classes. Okay. okay? But even uh, maybe in performer, we can directly see what is RE framework and all. But right now, let's go ahead. Okay. Now in performer, what are we going to do? Now see here, close all applications. So do we need to navigate to all products this time? Yes. Not required. Uh, no. no. We are Scraping all the here. products, is it required? No. No. Open browser, is it required? No. No. It's a one time process. We are on. Uh, I, I, okay. Right now, not required. But we, right uh, now, not required. With URL, we will be opening it. Yes, exactly. Now, when you add it from the dispatcher, what you will add from here, right to queue, what you will add? You will add product name and product URL. So, can we get all the details that we require from here? So all we require is, see, if we go into each product and if we go to all products, addresses has some URL, copy link. If I just paste this URL, I don't require anything else, right? I just, I can just open this particular URL and I can do perform other activities here. Is it right or not? Okay. Now, yes, yes. here is the thing. See, I'm going uh, on a complex level now. Uh, what if the first process creates a queue, that's a dispatcher. Second process opens abrasives, selects all the item, and it again creates a queue for the second sub process. Can this also be done? Yes. Okay, see the logic again. Now one process is dependent on other process. Now, for this process, like to extract this information, this job must run. Okay, but for extracting this information, this job must run. For extracting this information, this must run. So, we can make any kind of product or any kind of solution as complex as we want. Okay, maybe we can just write standing abrasives and uh, this is a queue item and everything has their own URLs, but we should make the process as simple as possible. We should not keep too many solutions or we should not keep too many jobs in pending state. Okay. Now, whatever we have divided, this seems to be fair enough. Like we have one process that is dispatching the second process of performing. That should be enough, right? Okay. okay. Let's go into performer and see instead of write, to queue, get one item to queue, or you can directly take it to after closing all the applications. What is this? Stop. Okay, next product exists. Close browser. Okay, here we can directly take it like this. Next queue item exists. So 
so when we are taking next queue item it just meant that okay i if there are some queue items some 10 queue items if there is a queue item or not for us to process that's what we are checking for okay now can you just think through the process again if you are manually processing this is what you want you are not able to get this particular flow like how can i continue with the next item is that right so oh, just this queue suite work in the orchestrator right yes queues are used in the orchestrator to be used in the orchestrator okay 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 now just see whatever the process that we have that this complete process let's assume that navigate to product failed you need to do completely from the beginning again yeah in, in complete process now in dispatcher and performer yes. you need to extract everything at once okay if this failed like maybe 30 seconds are gone but in this process if it if it does for around 20 minutes and if it fails then what is the time that we lost 20 minutes exactly but here this is this is just 30 seconds right yes okay now here there is a catch there is a catch uh, let's assume that there is an exception or any kind of exception we need to send it over to a particular team Okay, stating that the process is failed. So let's go ahead. Let's use a dotted box, dotted outline. So this is a process outline right okay i'm just taking it as a sample now any kind of issue that we get over here okay. so this is my complete process Now, any kind of issue or any kind of error that we get, let's see. Let's, let's take process. So this is a process block that I would like to take. Okay. So, any exception. Send email to stakeholders. Okay. And add to logs. Now just understand the process here. If there is any kind of exception that may arise handle it by sending it to stakeholders and once the stakeholders are notified just log it over to everyone so after logging in can we just close the process or stop the process just see with the flow now yeah, everyone can see in their screens but here is this seems to be correct thing to do this is a dispatcher that we are talking about. So there is no retry. The retry, if you want, you can retry, but you need not show it, right? Okay. Okay. If you want, you can just retry for three times and then you can drop message. But I'm just talking about the process flow. Okay. The same goes in here. 
like navigating to product, any kind of exception, it occurs, or writing to sheet. Scrape all the details, scrape all the subproducts, write sheets in general. So if there is any exception here, any kind of exception, we'll go ahead. So see, exceptions are not business exceptions. So business exceptions are something, for example, if there are more than five items in abrasives, then don't scrape the information. Just report stating that there are more than five items in the abrasives. Uh, the requirement is something like this. For the design purpose, any kind of product that has more than five items should be reported so that the design can be changed or the subproducts can be remapped. Okay, so think about scenarios such that you can implement it in the items. Now, when you are extracting the values, let's assume that this is what we need to do. After an extract tracking, subtract, uh, execute all the items, right in the sheet. So with URLs, here I will have the small logic in place. What I will do is I will just add a diamond. If item count count is more than five, okay, then notify to sub team, sub product team. Okay, but if it is, if it is yes. No. So then try to guys can you please go on mute please? Okay. I'm just trying to lower the some items, just wait. We are just discussing on how to create solutions. We are not going into the product or we are not going into the writing the code. That's not required. Just understand what you need to do. Okay. So can this be done? Like, okay, if there is a product, if the count is greater than five. So this is a business rule that I am giving to you. Nothing else. So do you now did you understand the difference between a exception business rule exception and a system exception so is this a business rule exception or a system exception this is business rule exception so business exception. what is business rule exception and what is system exception can you please do it in the chat just get me the details in the chat or you are able to understand Okay. I'm just asking what is the difference between system exception and a business exception. Sneharata, system exception is about failure in the system like selectors. Okay. System exception is failure. BRE, which the business decides, system exception decided by the developer. Um, first one is correct, Kasim, second one is wrong. Okay. Uh, application related issues system exception okay that is correct if any data occurs goes it goes to business if any system errors you, you just need to explain what is system application okay let me uh, go in detail now when you are trying to scrape the information if you are unable to scrape the information and the browser closed automatically you will not be able to continue right so those kind of exceptions, like if the browser is not able to reach a particular URL, those kind of exceptions are system exceptions. But even though we have all the requirements, even though we have all the access, even though we have all the information required, business asked us to not to process or not to continue. Any kind of such kind of restrictions are business rule exceptions that we are creating for the process. 
but any kind of unwanted or unreasonable process that that takes place that can be taken as system exception okay i hope i reached uh, to the point let's go with the other activities or let's see with what we can now so is this a to be process can we consider this as a to be process everyone yes but, but or project all should be more, more than, than five, five products, products. So, so no need to, to business exception i didn't get it for all the products is it more than five yeah, yeah. that's fine irrespective of what it is business asks you to do it why are you worrying if it is more than five or less than five your job is to report okay let's let's think like this if it is less than five then report yeah yeah, yeah exactly my point okay see the business rule is something that you can change whatever you want in the business uh, requirement okay but just understand the idea of how we are we are creating this process flows okay uh, here you go now let's go with ui path studio okay how much time did we spend in just trying to un understand and analyze the process Is it more than an hour? More than one and a half hour since yesterday? Yeah, sometimes it will be more than two hours also. Sometimes it will be more than a week also. <laughs> okay, so yeah. that is the reason uh, we are having yesterday. I have written in the notes if you have seen, like there are some bigger process which requires analysis up to one or two weeks. It's not yeah, only yeah. about writing the code. It's also about understanding the process, working through the process, making sure the things are working. But how will you get to know like this is what will fail? This is where things will get to get wrong. So again, these are the steps like feasibility check. This is what you can do. And the second thing that can come into existence is your experience mm -hmm. on working with the tool. You will get to know whether a particular application is working or not by, by your experience. Okay. Now let's go ahead and complete the process. Okay. Let's see. Okay. For now, we are trying to create something on a normal basic level. Uh, but tomorrow, let's go ahead and create something on a RE framework process. But to complete RE framework, what I suggest you to do is go to UI path framework Nikhilesh Vajran. Yep, yeah, here it is. So last time, uh, how many of you are attending UI path uh, uh, trainings? Uh, that is around six o'clock daily. Yes, you can do it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Team, are you attending or not? Yes, yeah, yeah, don't miss them uh, because I have been a part of it last time. Uh, so this is a particular video or this is one video and this is part two. So by tomorrow when you come back, I want you to watch both these videos. We require you to have a pre understanding of what is what. It will be easier for mm -hmm. me and easier for you too. Okay. So 6th June. 7th, uh, 6th June, right? Let's go with a 7th June. Okay. 7th June 2022. Creation of process map. Um, as is close to be flow. Coding. Uh, this is 8 June 2022. Pre check videos. Pre framework part 1. Pre framework part 2. 
so again this is not involved with any coding all the explanation is done on a plain english so it will be very easy for you this is part four copy link okay so i want you to complete both videos both are around one hour but watch each and everything even uh, someone else also have discussed few important points in the videos each and everything will be important just go ahead and look at it tomorrow it will be very easy for you if you can complete that okay let's go with this so our task right now is to complete two things um we'll also get to know tomorrow about github and how to use github so install github in your machines will go very fast as i'm saying will not stop the first week or the pre demo week is just like a sample but after from today like git will be moving very fast git on desktop desktop.github.com so download this one sign up with your registered email id or any kind of email id but we need to have the access install github and then for this one github vajrang so this is my github so we'll be using ari uh, ari framework or rpa developer in 30 days repo can you see all the urls team yes okay so don't neglect any point that i'm telling each and every point is important each and every url that i'm giving is important okay how much time did it take to scrape this information let's see with the dispatcher so today we will complete dispatcher part tomorrow we'll see with the performer part so to use dispatcher all i am going to do is go to cloud.uipart.com so how can you make sure you are connected you can see a green symbol over here and here you will get to know which one you are connected to a refresh so what am i connected to uh, i am connected to default tenant workspace srvoutlook.com's workspace so i can just go into default tenant i can go into queues okay these are all the queues that i normally i used previously so we will also discuss about orchestrator queues and all uh, but for now let's go ahead and create this particular queue so what is the queue i'm just going to give fast signal reporting okay order retrace and all let's check it later um, but for now action retention 30 days so i'll discuss about all these things later because we need to complete content so this is uh, my queue okay so what i'll do i'll just use recording so why i use recording because that is easier for me okay and f2 to hold it for 3 seconds or f2 again so all i need is to navigate it to all products and to get the values 
so just see if I can do and I'm not to pass three. I'm just uh, I'll just try to off this. Okay. So rather than going with this, what I'll do, I'll just close and use table extraction and I will add the link. So if you go ahead, this is the latest uh, version of table extraction or information extraction or you can use it to extract a structured information. You can use table extraction. So add data. If you just click on this particular button, this will enable and this will help you to select okay all the items you can just hit on confirm so here new url new url column 2 instead of that name product name product url okay there is no limit here and then hit on what is the next button do we have any next button we can do that but there is no next button right just click on save continue so what happened it created a url open news application browser if it is not open then it will open okay and then let's go ahead and add it to queue for each row in data table this is extract data table okay so there are two things that i can do i can also use something like this bulk queue items bulk add queue items so when i have bulk add queue items i can just give the data table so that is extract data table so what is the queue name over here that we are giving so let's go edit so copy everything there will be a change or uh, it will be different from the way you code and from the way i code because i will i know already what to do okay so what exactly will happen here all the items will be uploaded to queue at the same time exactly so instead of looping in uh, UiPath provided as an option like okay now you have all the items if it is having no restrictions let's go ahead and run it okay um, bulk add queue items reporting queue does not exist okay if it is not existing why it is not existing API modern space project management API workspace modern workspace so if you want to see if you are in the correct resource or not let's change this one and in the queues you will get to see now do we have this one if you are in a different workspace like if you are in a different workspace your resources will change okay so it will get to know or you will get to know whether you are in the correct workspace or not from here okay now let's run it run file okay now this is correct this is completed let's see the queues let's see the queue items view transactions every we have all the items and view details can you see the url and can you see the product name as well yes okay yes now here we go uh, can we extract or can we okay I may, maybe it will be too much confusing for you leave it uh, okay now if i just go into this product url or category so can i extract all the further information go to this one can i just navigate and extract all the further informations yes 
okay now can i just go back and okay so all these things are happening so till now what we have done is this the performer or dispatcher Dispatcher. 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 So if we continue further, everything will be in one block. Okay. So what we will do is we will change this one or we will add this or um, extract as work. Okay. Great. Now, someone asked me, do I need to create a separate uh, RE framework for this? If you ask me, no, not required. Some process, uh, some process that I have developed, what we have done is in the single process, we created both dispatcher and performer together. Let's see. Let's paste. This is done. So now our product or our project is this complete project, right? This is our complete project. Now here we have dispatcher. Can we also create a performer here? Add sequence. Yes. So tomorrow we'll get to see what is what and how exactly are we changing or converting them. But for now, let's go ahead and use this. So how to consume a cook queue? We have seven more minutes. Let's use that seven more minutes. Come on, make, make it fast. How to consume the queue? Get it transaction item. Sorry? Get transaction item. It's get queue item, not get transaction item. Okay, yeah, yeah get yeah. transaction item, correct. Get transaction item. So what get transaction item will do? It will get the, the transaction from the queue. queue. It comes from the queue. It will get only one item from the queue. Yes. Okay. Copy. And oh, let's go with property. Queue name. Okay. It will just come here. And we'll get you with the transaction item. Control the transaction item. Again, see, I'm not explaining about creating variables or creating if else conditions here. Just understand that. If we start working on if else conditions, if I start working on how to create variables, then one month will never be sufficient. So while we are working with this, understand or you to continue or work along with me. Okay. Now here. Um, after getting transaction item, what should we do? So can I just copy this one, or can I just copy this complete flow over here? We already have all the steps over here, right? Like open use application browser. But instead of products, what we need to do is in transaction. We have to get the URL from Q. Exactly. So we are getting transaction item, right? So if you open this particular queue item, you see here again, we'll discuss on what is queue and how to use with queue later part in later part. But see that this is like a movie theater uh, ticket counter where we have all the tickets and you are getting one ticket. And uh, in the ticket, you have one seat name. So you need to get here seat number. You need to get the seat number and you need to sit over there. So how to get seat number from specific data. So to access this seat number, you need to go to transaction item. So this from here, we'll get one item dot specific content of key name. So we need to give the key name, not the value. This is the key name. Okay. Dot to string. Okay. Let's just try. Let's see what's happening and all. But if you observe it properly, it, this will rewrite to the same queue. 
we don't require so we that. have to create different create. we don't require that so instead of that what we will do is we will just write um the right range so this is workbook file data dot xlsx okay sheet name is something that we can give the it as a product name but there is also a restriction that product name is too big product name cannot be too big so i will do something like this sheet name uh, so again transaction item so how can i get the product name can you please tell me dot specific content okay specific content of key name product, product name dot product name. string dot substring i'm just using substring so that i can fetch from start index 1 i am going to fetch five characters at least five characters okay now what will happen 1 r 0 1 from first index to five characters it's cell name right so no cell name here this is empty it it will start from zero Okay. It is product name. Yeah, it's product this. name five characters. Yes, correct. So here we have product name, right? Welding W E L D I. This is what will come as a sheet name. Okay. Sheet, okay. Yeah. Extract data table. So let's go ahead and run this file. So how many times will it run? It runs only one time. Okay. Okay. But if you observe it. We haven't written code to extract the information, but the code is already in place. So the previous page, whatever the code that we have written, it can be reused. If you observe, we, did we just uh, copy this content extract data table from previous item or not? Yes, yes, we extracted from the previous item. Yes. Okay, let me just close it. Once here. Let me just open this. But what do you see? This is not a giving me any result. The main reason can be extract data table. This particular instance that we are trying to extract may or may not be correct. This is table settings target. So if you just go into selector, street selector, product section, save products. So this particular URL, whatever the URL that came in, let's try to add it over here. Like just try to just log it and see. Or there is also one more thing that we can do. Any one more simple way of doing it. Can you guys tell me how to do it? Okay, you can also remap to the table and extract the values and uh, get the result but let's just try to get the values and see how things are working so here we have this url copy paste enter so category so this is welding category right so just see if it is valid selector or not table extraction selector so this is not a valid selector okay so what if i change this one use application browser and selector there will also be a selector for this one let's just try to validate it or try to change it open ui explorer okay so indicate element so this is the URL that we are looking for. If you observe it, we need to remove all the static values like building, pass, nil, and everything. So this is static. The only uh, the only all these dynamics uh, elements we can remove. The only static value that we can see is slash product till here. Okay, and you can keep a star over here and you can ignore this one so will this selector 
work for all the pages or not? Yes. Highlight. So this is working. So what we'll do? We'll just go ahead and change this selector back. Validate. Now let's try to run this one. Close. But if you observe, this runs how many times? It's not looping in, right? It's not continuously going with the next item. Yeah, it's one time. So this is the second one. But even this one is having error. So maybe the extra data table value itself is not giving me the correct results because of the strict selector as well as these product values, extracted values, extract metadata and all. Okay, so what we can do if I don't have something like this, I can just re scrape all the information. I can just close this one. Okay, and table extraction. Let's go back to building. And here you go add data consumable. Yes, so this one again product name. And the URL. I'm not writing it or I'm not writing uh, any new queue, I'm just adding the values. That's it. Okay, use application browser. So after getting the values, I'm just adding it over here. Okay, so the only thing that we need to see is whether this will match with the next one, all products adhesives so will this be working over here let's see this is transaction item this url will must change transaction item dot specific content of product url i'm just going back to this one and check the product url okay so we'll complete in five minutes okay this is working now this particular item i just need to see whether this works in here or not edit selector text extraction can you see it here tape okay let's go to all products and let's see electricals let's see if this is working or not test extraction is it working now for all the pages? Yeah. If you just go back. Yes, and, it is uh, working. Check for check all products. Uh, check for AC refrigeration. Maybe let's try to get information from I navigated button. Yeah, we are getting all the data. So again, extracted all the information and write it. Run fair. Okay, uh, being used by other process. Let's close this one. Okay, let's run this again. So now we are consuming the queue items, right? What will be the status of queue item after we consume it? In progress. Okay, but after completion, what it will be? Success or failure. But is it? We are not setting any one right. Exactly. It's so we are not setting it to success or failure. So we are getting it like this. Okay. So now we are getting the values something like this. But what we will do is we need to loop in. Okay. Now, uh, how can we loop in in this particular flow? How can we loop? There is one more activity called get queue item. Okay, here we can mention get only new queue items. Queue items output from prior status. We'll check with only new items. If there is new item, then work with this item. Let's go if condition. If let's see with this one. 
reference starts with output let's k q so what is the output type of this q item it's a collection like how many new q items are available everything will be listed over here okay q items dot count if it is greater than 0 or you can also do something like this for each for each so in this for each what do we have object okay, let's keep it as object max iterations we can take it but here let's go with q items so for each q item can we call performer just understand the process again for each q item we are calling the performer if there is any new item we are calling the performer can we do that or not yes Why? it's big yes we are getting all the q items let's uh, keep a breakpoint over here debug breakpoint debug file okay so now how many items did we get if we go into locals and if we can see how many items do we have 27 exactly so step into for each item go ahead complete the process is it continuing Yes. Okay. So the logic that we have written will already be available in RE framework. Or the checks that we are doing right now, the code is already written. So instead of we write all the code that will be like best use cases, we will just use RE framework so that we can write or concentrate only about the logic, not nothing else. Okay. Okay, so what we will do? I will just stop the process now, and in the main, let's run the file. Run it, and let's see how fast will it execute. Joseph, are you there? Yes, sir. Are you getting things now? Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to create a. Uh, I'll discuss with you, sir. I'm understanding this. No, uh, I just want to know. Okay, guys, to get to know, uh, this is uh, the requirement given by Joseph. Okay, so we created the solution, or we created the requirement, and we are working on the solution. See, you can build in solutions, or we can build in requirements as you want. Okay, but try to understand the process. You can build any kind of scenario. Now here, the there is an exception. Like, what is the exception? Over here, arguments remote exception. There is substring that's failing in. That's fine. Uh, let's see with all the other items. Okay. So now the thing that I have done is only extracted all the values, but I haven't mapped. So we'll have or we will block it till here. But tomorrow we'll see what are the other things that we need to do. Okay. In our frame. Were you able to understand the process? Were you able to understand the code? Yes, no, all right. Please drop a message in WhatsApp. I'll be waiting. Drop it right now.
Pakistan. For this, we are using modern or classic one. Uh, irrespective of what it is, this is just an activity. We, right now, we are using modern activity. We are using modern activity. I'm uploading the code over here so you can definitely use the code and you can check it to be fast now. You can download the code and you can use it. Okay. I'm not getting any messages. Vajran, when you explain over here, it looks so simple. Uh -huh. I hope. When you explain over here, it looks so simple. I hope yeah. I'll feel it same way when I'll be working on it. <laughs> yes, but see, uh, you need to understand the logic first before you implement it. Correct. If you write away, but understood. Uh, right away, if you go right. into the code and if you start working and if you start writing code, irrespective of the logic, it will be tough for you to get to a point where what you want. Mm 